Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're gonna start here, we're gonna take a random character. Hey, a random Maggie run. That's not the worst thing in the world. That is a, a very, very leisurely way to start things here. I don't, Maggie is the character who I am most likely to forget, which is probably not what you wanna have listed as your superlative in the high school yearbook. Whoa, quad shot, man, this run's starting out kind of unforgettably, but um, yeah, I always forget about her because I'm like, you know, Kane. He's like really noteworthy. He's like uh, he's, he's got great pills. He's got an eye patch. That's really cool. Judas, high risk, high reward. Starts with Book of Belial. Isaac, he's like your Nick Carter, your Justin Timberlake. He's like the leader. Uh, and then you got Samson. He's like the bad boy. He's kind of shitty, but sometimes you have great runs with him, and you think that he's better than he actually is. Uh, and he says it'll change, but he doesn't. And uh, then Blue Baby is like the seriously like he's the mystical one. He's like the guy who's like in touch with his uh, you know wick inside. Uh, anyway, we're gonna leave this uh, tangent and this floor. There's some tinted rocks uh, available, but it's extremely unlikely that I'll get a chance to open them. I am got a big smile on my face. I'm, I'm very happy to have a chance to actually uh, make some good stuff happen with Maggie here. Getting quad shot right off the bat is like getting a pretty nice uh, damage bonus. My cat is attacking the other monitor, which is showing the preview of the video right now. That's really cute, but also if you fuck it up, Kate, I was recording Isaac when you weren't here, and he turned off this monitor with his paw. I know, it was crazy. Dude loves the Isaac. Anyway, long story short, my cat is a big dingleberry. Uh, we're going to open up the item room here, and again, very... Okay, well, we got the best of Samson's world, at least. Picking up Rage. People get mad at me when I even pick up Rage, because they're like, well, it gives you a damage downgrade to start with. Yeah, that's true, but I really like the damage upgrade. Plus, how can you pass up a sick-ass headband, right? Like, do you have no soul? If you have a soul, you want a sick-ass headband. That's just how the, the rules work. I'm not sure if you guys showed up on day one of every school ever, but... That's what I always heard anyway. Alright, so we got two spirit hearts. Probably shouldn't lose those before we go directly into the curse room and just throw some of our health away. These pills could be amazing or horrible. That's not the worst thing. Okay, so that was effectively just throwing one heart away. Now, not picking up the spirit hearts yet, and the reason I'm not doing that is because there is a chance that I could find a blood bank, and if I find a blood bank, then I would absolutely love to go to that boss trap room. In fact, it's not the worst thing in the world, since we have those spirit hearts available, to just damage myself on the fire after we beat the boss, and then go to the boss trap room as well. So we'll probably save this key as well. I think that actually is, it, when I said wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, what I should have said is, is probably the best thing in the world. But I still should try to avoid taking damage on this boss fight, even though I already took some, uh, because it would be in my best interest to possibly snag a deal with the devil. Oh well, um, we'll take mom's heels, it's another range upgrade, that's kind of the dominant theme of the floor, isn't it? And uh, where can I walk that would damage me? Please, I could just walk into and out of the curse room, but that's kind of inelegant, isn't it? Uh, is there not fire, like, somewhere? So just walking into and out of the curse room over and over. Uh, and if I just wa wait till my invincibility's over, walk out again. Uh, with spirit hearts, I think I can just go back in there, but... I might, or go back into the room anyway, but I think I might as well just walk in and use my yum heart. Are you fucking ki Well, you know what? Same thing with Rage. I'm gonna pick it up just so it doesn't show up again. Uh, actually, I, I kinda like Rage, whereas with Cat and Nine Tails, I think it's busted and broken, but at least this stops it from showing up in a boss trap room later, which is the only thing that would be more infuriating, is uh, if I didn't get Cat and Nine Tails now, and it still showed up on a boss room a little bit later into the game. So we'll fight two bosses. Hopefully we'll get some consumables. The good news is we didn't really lose too much by walking in here, except for, you know, it, like red hearts, but we can always create more red hearts with yum hearts, so uh, no big deal, I think at least. Inevitably, some commenters will disagree with this, but so be it. Cat of Nine Tails, at least we're getting it out of the rotation, right? That's that's my uh, two cents on the issue here. So, some more uh, attacks in here. Let's try not to die. I did lose a little bit of damage there. Rage is going up a little bit, and we get a penny for our troubles, which is actually pretty good. You know what they say? A penny for your thoughts. A quarter for your call and all your mama's love. They they say that. Don't question it. Uh, no bombs still. That's unfortunate. Could pop open this golden chest. Would probably be a dumb idea considering the situation that we're in with keys. I.e. we have one of them. Uh, this would be... The secret room's probably here. It would be great if I could just use a bomb, but I don't have any bombs. So... Instead, we pick up our half heart and we uh, head down to the next floor feeling okay. Quad shot's a big pickup. Okay, this is a... It's a big floor. 
not just like ceremonially or you know for the purposes of this run this is just literally a large floor uh, and it's the catacombs which is frightening Maggie's faith is beautiful makes me a little bit disappointed that we are on an XL floor because uh, obviously that diminishes the usefulness of this item that gives you an eternal heart every floor but Hopefully, we'll be able to uh, get it to pay out for us regardless. And obviously, keys are the other major concern. Found the secret room by accident on an XL floor. That is uh, even more impressive than usual. Come on. One more. There we go. And we got another key. So that's going to be two item rooms right there. And our secret room is actually, uh, you know, not the worst thing in the world. Considering we got in for free, I'm okay with this. We, we got a key out of it. Okay, so that's pretty good. Free key, essentially. Although we didn't get what we would normally get from a secret room, so there's some opportunity cost there, but we didn't have any control over the opportunity cost, so uh, no big deal, I think. So far, so good on this run. It's been relatively comfortable. Leisurely, four hearts is a good place to be. Uh, we may encounter a blood bank here, and then we can get a little funky with that blood bank because we have some spirit hearts to back us up, but I'd love to keep these spirit hearts as long as possible because, of course, we will be having eternal hearts, and it would be nice to be able to keep those eternal hearts alive. Can't always get what you want, though. Let's, uh... Mm, yes, that's good. Okay. This is actually a good thing. We have three keys now. If I can get to seven cents, I may kind of hail Mary. We'll probably wait for 15 cents, but it... Oh, shit. Okay. Well, let's not forget about that eternal heart. That's actually incredibly useful, so do not forget about that. I always forget about it. Don't forget about it this time. It's very important. It's like, uh, you know, going to the grocery store, you always forget milk. Don't forget milk. What am I going to do? Probably forget milk. But let's not forget milk this time. And, you know, that's what they should call them. They should call them milk hearts, not eternal hearts, because they're white, right? Don't need that key too, too much, although it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Hey, another decent supply of cash. We're going to get to 12 cents, which makes it much more likely that we'll get to 15. Very lucky to find two golden poops on the same floor. Uh, Brother Bobby is an okay pickup. It's the kind of thing, again, where, you know, I'm not necessarily thrilled that it showed up, but it's better than nothing. I would, I would be more thrilled if something else showed up, but Brother Bobby, you know, he pulls his weight. He doesn't, uh, doesn't eat too much, and he, uh... He's always down to help out uh, a friend in need. And that's what we are right now, is a friend in need. Uh, more spirit hearts would make me feel a little bit more comfortable about this run in general as well. I can't believe I didn't take damage there. Come on, how do we get out of this one? Hey, the orbital cube of meat actually blocked one there, much to my surprise. And here's boss room. So we're going to finish off the boss rooms. Don't go down to the next floor. There's another item room remaining. You could still make the shop worthwhile. And most importantly, well, maybe not most importantly, but it on the same level of importance, uh, you still got that eternal heart left to pick up. You did this once before, very recently. You said, hey, don't forget the eternal heart. You forgot the eternal heart. You lost the run. Probably would have lost regardless, but um, you'll never live it down. Okay, here we go again. Coin purse. Uh, two range upgrades, so at least we didn't just get, like, mom's heal. Do we know what one of these is? Is one of them a range downgrade? No. Could be anything. Bad trip. That sucks. Puberty. Not so good. Well, lost the spirit heart, got two range upgrades, and we'll get a second level cube of meat here, so our familiars are uh, trucking along quite nicely, building a nice little stable for ourselves here. If they're gonna fight Pestilence, this is an okay Pestilence to fight. The spider's relatively weak, which means we can build rage off them uh, pretty easily, so... Let's wait for the spider to come down. That's another little rage building up. Uh, deal with the devil? Maybe? We can afford it because we're going to, yeah, get some extra HP. And if it's Krampus, sure, man, by all means. That's okay. Deal with the devil is Guppy's Tail or the Quarter. I'm a little tempted to take uh, Guppy's Tail, but I don't think it's actually worth it for us. We're kind of in a state when it comes to keys. And additionally, in addition to that, uh, I think... Well, you know what? I could open that golden chest, but um, I think it's just not uh, its just not worth it for us. I think our health is more valuable right now. Yeah, we, we don't have too much of it. We're four boss rooms in, and we still haven't gotten uh, any HP upgrades. So, I mean, we're lucky we're starting as Maggie, but still. So there's our eternal heart. Yes, I see it down there, but we have to uh, do some stuff first. Uh, we have to go to our second item room and possibly our shop, and maybe there's an arcade up here. Arcade would be awesome because we could actually... Oop, there we go, 13 cents. We, we could guarantee ourselves more or less a uh, 15 cent level, which would allow us, of course, to go to the... Uh Go to the shop and buy whatever items are there for sale. Now, uh, there is a Tinted Rock here. This has been like the ultimate half of a floor. We've lost one cent here. 
Uh, this has been like the- oh, there's another nickel over there too. This has been like the ultimate first half of a floor for like wishing you had bombs. There's been tinted rocks and like areas where I could access golden chests and yeah. Uh, you know, I can see where the secret room is. I've already been to it, but you know. There it is. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to get at there. Um, hopefully we find a, an arcade so I can go to this boss trap room. This run, uh, it's good-ish so far, but it doesn't quite have the, the chutzpah, you know, to take you to the next level. There's another bomb-ish area over there. Two bombs equals three bombs equals you can open up one more of those golden chests if you want to. Uh, you know, get some money for free. I am very much hoping that we pick up some kind of makeshift explosives at some point. I shouldn't say makeshift explosives because then the game's gonna be like, You didn't want kamikaze? You said makeshift- Okay, well there's an extra three bombs. So Tinted Rock is very nice. We're a little slow, so I'm wary about getting small rock, but, you know, damage upgrade, if I have to deal with a speed upgrade to take it, so be it. Damage upgrade's worth it uh, in the short and long run, I think. So we'll do a little bit of exploration here. The golden chest is not something I'm, I'm very interested in because I would rather just save my keys to ensure that I can go to item rooms later. If we had, you know, five keys, it would be a little different. I'd probably consider opening golden chests, but, uh, all right, Poison Touch and a Tinted Rock. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, we did hurt ourselves, but that's okay. Is the Spirit Heart available? We got a key and a... and a Spirit Heart for blowing up that uh, Fortune Teller. Now, what do we do? With three bombs, we should probably just cash in on that extra bomb, right? That seems like a smart idea to me. So, we'll put two bombs over here, and that should make, uh, this should make everybody happy. One here and one here, so we'll be up to four bombs. Uh, you probably should have just walked on the spikes, not picked up that spirit heart so that I could have gone into the boss trap room. It's not even in like a next level Maggie tactic, it's just a Maggie tactic. Uh, but we're gonna pick up spirit hearts because we've already started, so this will do a good job insulating our uh, eternal hearts from Maggie's faith, but there's the trade off, and the trade off is we can't really go to the boss trap room unless we find a blood bank, which we're not going to. But we are up to 15 cents. Uh, now we're gonna be down to 13 cents, or 14 cents after I pick this one up. So, we need one more penny. I could always trade a bomb for it. There's a, been a few locations. I could trade a bomb for five cents. That's a better value proposition. I'd rather just keep the bombs, though. No? All right. So, there is... Where's that nickel? I think it's over here on the right side. This floor is done, uh, with the exception of the shop and the eternal heart, which you can't forget. It's an important part of the whole arrangement here. Uh, yeah. I... I don't think the second secret room can be here, but I gotta check. I hate to do it. it was, yep, just threw a bomb in the trash, basically, but, uh, I had to check. Had to check. Now, uh, yeah, we're three bombs. Might keep some of those for tinted rocks, because those are pretty important for us, but I'm also tempted to open some golden chests. We'll see. Uh, steam sale. We only have two more shops remaining. How much is less? This, the steam sale is likely... Best case scenario, the steam sale, well, best case scenario, it saves us like half of whatever we spend, but, um, best case scenario, the steam sale saves us, how much? Let's see, if we bought two 15 cent items from the two remaining shops in the game, it would save us 16 cents, and I'm not really re willing to take that, uh, take that trade, so I think it's in my best interest to just buy that spirit heart instead, and we're gonna leave, basically, this floor has been interesting, it's been a nice little nightmare box of, uh, analysis and, and mathematics, uh, but I'm, I'm content to go, and you know what? We will trade one bomb for a key on the way out. I'm content to leave. I, I think this worked out reasonably well. We're gonna be at 5 HP. Uh, we got a second level cube of meat. We got Brother Bobby. We, uh, got Poison Touch, which is not valuable now, but maybe will be valuable later. And we did pick up Maggie's Faith as well, in addition to the Eternal Heart, so, you know. Not, not half bad, but could be better. At least we survived, and, uh, we survived with relative success as well. Catacombs XL is done. Time to start nursing these eternal hearts, and we'll immediately throw one of these spirit hearts away just to watch some bombs explode. But we have three keys, so we don't have to feel too, too bad about this run right now. Uh, if I start losing these eternal hearts, that's when I'm going to freak out a little bit, and that, that'll probably be when I would start to uh, think that we're, you know, the end is nigh, if you will. But hopefully. Would it be great if, like, the. Saw someone with a sign and it said like the end is nigh, Jesus is coming. Uh, but then it said the end is nigh and it had like a picture of Bill Nye and then it was like, dude, that sounds like a pretty okay end. He could like educate us and, you know, be tall and and pretty skinny. I don't know. We got a mini mush in here. That's pretty solid. A little bit of a speed upgrade is okay. The range upgrade, you know, I can't even keep track of where we're at with range upgrades so far, but 
it's an, it's an upgrade. It's not going to win us the game, but it's certainly not going to make it harder for us to win the game. So, you know, that's all the most you can ask for. Well, actually, the most you can ask for is like, uh, you know, Mom's Knife Polyphemus. But uh, it's the most we can realistically ask for most of the time. Now, boss room wouldn't be the worst thing to encounter. Shop is actually pretty nice as well. Oh, my God. You see this fucking... It was like Neo in the fucking Matrix there. Just wanted to clarify in case you've seen many other movies with characters named Neo. Uh, which movie I was talking about. Um, probably greed? No, bum. F why? Why bum friend? Bum friend's been showing up so often lately. Go fuck yourself, bum friend. If you were half price, I might consider buying you. That's the sad irony there, but no such luck. Um, really want to keep this eternal heart protected. Wish there was a spirit heart for sale in there, but there's not. So, uh, the only way out is through on this room, unfortunately. Maybe we can get in there and crush you. And good news, the flies are dead. Ooh, this is a little scary. So we've already been to item room and shop. Uh, more money is actually nice because we'll maybe be able to put that to good use on the next floor if there's no mini boss, which there probably will be. But it would be great if there wasn't because the compass would be huge. I don't see us winning this run uh, in our current state, but at least it's a comfortable loss. It's kind of a disappointing thing to say, but hopefully you understand what I mean. And, oh, okay, that worked out as well as could be expected. There's our boss room, so... If I'm, oh yeah, just get yourself painted into a corner right off the bat. That's how, the way I find is the best to beat this room. If we end up beating this boss, we'll probably just leave the leave the floor because I really don't want to lose this eternal heart. Uh, we are going to get a third level cube of meat. And possibly a deal with the angel afterwards. I, I was swear to God I was trying to move out of the way. I don't know why it, uh, my keyboard maybe got super slow there or something. Um, still, oh, that was like I saw the bullet just go by our face. Just watch out for the bomb. That's the only thing that matters. See, that's fine. And then we can rinse and repeat here. And we don't have to. We don't. It doesn't have to be a fast fight. You know, it can be a slow fight. It looks like we're probably gonna be okay here. He's uh, he's real quick. I don't have. I, for some reason, I thought I had Rainbow Baby, but I don't. He's faster than I expected him to be. Samson's uh, bloody lust not really doing too much for us now. So, thanks to Cat of Nine Tails, I actually did get some knockback there. So third level cube of meat is pretty nice. Uh, that's some extra damage for us. Might as well cash in our eternal heart and go down to the next floor right away. We, we'd already been to all the good rooms. I don't expect this uh, new eternal heart is going to last very long at all. But we do at least have something that does a little bit of damage without us actually needing to actively be there. That's nice. He can't really do too much on this room, but uh, in the future he'll be, he'll be good for us, I think. Now, if I could just find a spirit heart, that would be uh, glorious. Because, you know, I'm only going to... Best case scenario, I get the... Eternal heart to the next floor. I nurse it like the fucking pregnant lady and children of men. That nurse, not really the word I should have used there. Uh, but uh, then I end up with seven HP, no compass, not a lot, a whole lot of damage. Not a lot, a whole lot of damage. Uh, not a lot, a whole lot of damage going down to the the womb and beyond. Uh, but it's something. Our item room is trash. Doctor's remote's real bad. Maybe we'll get lucky and uh, find the second secret room. We didn't. Surprise, surprise. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I would love, don't get me wrong, to, get, to, to win this run. I just don't think I have had the tools at my disposal yet to, to make it happen. There's probably a decent argument to be made for taking Doctor's Remote instead of Yum Heart. Wow, that was a very lucky turn of events. We're definitely going to use our last key. Okay, well, never mind. There's no argument for that now, because the argument now is we need to get Blue Candle somehow. And that would actually give me, it's one of the very few items in the game that would give me a uh, much increased chance of success. So, uh, I need to get it. If, if I don't get it, oh, well, there goes the eternal heart. But it doesn't matter if we get blue candle. That all will be forgiven. Oh, fuck. Well, at least we got back to full health. All will be forgiven if we are able to get uh, blue candle. We still probably won't win. Uh, now that we have the blood bank, we probably uh, are guaranteed to get blue candle. So that's really, really useful for us. Oh, we were so close to possibly getting some spirit hearts as well. Oh well, you know, shit happens. I'm gonna play this a little bit more than I probably should. Get down to three and a half hearts, I think is where I feel comfortable. We're gonna lose Yum Heart. Eh, whatever. Get a little further down. Trinket's meaningless, uh, cause we don't have Mom's Purse, I think. So let's go back there and get Blue Candle, and uh, there's a little bit of health available for us on this floor as well. We might as well backtrack for that, cause I would rather not die. If possible. And you know what? It's well worth our time to buy another key as well. Alright, so now that we have Blue Candle, and I realized that I had Blue Candle on the last run that I did as well, but, uh, you know, I'm sorry about that, but this is the only way we really pull ourselves out of this one, I feel a little bit better about our chances for success. 
Probably putting us at like a 20% now instead of a 5. Uh, Blue Candle's gonna be our primary damage dealer along with 3rd uh, level Meat Boy. Really good against Mom. Kind of okay against Isaac and Blue Baby. Really good against basically every room that it comes across apart from those, so... Hopefully, uh, this ends up being enough. We need a... I, if I had to guess, I'd say we need just a little bit more. Something that makes our tears better, or just like a huge amount of health somehow. I don't even know how it would occur, but... Um, this, this would make a big difference. Maggie's Faith basically equaled 1 HP, so that's not the best payout for Maggie's Faith. The maximum it could have been is 2, I guess, but, uh... Um, the, because of when we got it. We did pick up a random Eternal Heart, though, so that's something. I haven't taken any deals with the Devil. I'm Maggie, and the only HP I've gotten is from, uh, two Eternal Hearts. That's unexpected, you gotta admit. Now, uh, we, we find ourselves in an interesting crossroads here. Playing the Blood Bank and going to the Boss Trap Room could kill me. Or it could make me stronger than you could ever imagine. Uh, but it could also kill me. So, actually, that Spirit Heart changes things uh, drastically. So, even if we really fuck ourselves on this Blood Bank, we're gonna go to the Boss Trap Room, hopefully snag some HP or some damage, and then, um, well, we might as well go through this room just in case there's a consumable. Ah, there's a Tinted Rock, which is good because I just lost half of my Spirit Heart anyway. Um, please blow up in the resulting explosion. No, I'm just gonna make things tricky on me, okay. Make things tricky on me! Oh, in a game of luck. That was, uh, it was like Def Leppard, pour some sugar on me. I have to tell people because I know that my pitch is pretty bad. Uh, also, you know, I absolve all rights to Def Leppard's pour some sugar on me. This is not intended to be uh, anything but a transformative work, so I, I apologize if uh, anyone from the, the Lep is watching this right now. So yeah, I'm, I'm throwing my money down the drain. Uh, I'm doing it to get some keys. That's a pretty smart idea. And I'm also I'm playing the Blood Bank because we're going to go to that boss trap room. Should be able to beat Mom with Blue Candle, as long as I have the Spirit Hearts uh, available to back myself up here. What's better to take into the boss fight? Probably Liberty Cap, I guess. Maybe we'll get something of value out of that. Hi, Pride Priest is pretty good. Uh, I don't know why I'm investing. Rusted Key is uh, literally worthless, I think. Probably should only go down to uh, half of a Red Heart. Well, yeah, I don't want to give up any Spirit Hearts. So we'll keep gambling the shit out of these as long as we can. You never know, these Spirit Hearts that we have a chance to get from the uh, Fortune Teller actually could end up making a major difference in our run. I didn't mean to get that one. Did Meat Boy just get one of those three things for me? I really wanted those Red Hearts. Wanted slash needed those Red Hearts. Uh, anyway. Keep it up. Good. Thumbtack. Sure. By all means. That's something. Don't give me Spirit Hearts. That would make things way too easy. I don't want to have an easy Isaac run. I want to work my ass off for it. Uh, sure, nothing there. Hey, some extra money to waste my time with here. Okay, so... Thank God we at least got the Spirit Hearts we did get. Um, no, nope, nothing there. Crystal Ball would be nice too. Show me where the secret room is. At least we've gotten a lot of keys. That feels good. More money? Well, it might end up coming in handy. Hey, what is this? The Joker. Um... Yeah, yeah, we'll go use the Joker card, like, right now. And I'm very tempted to get Brimstone, but I got Brimstone recently, so I won't. Instead, I'll just get the Mark, which is, like, extra Spirit Hearts and damage, which I think is a pretty good pickup. And we'll go back into the, uh, back into the arcade. And then we'll move on, because I think we're ready to go. I'm glad I got the Mark. I was willing to trade for it. Sorry I didn't pick up Brimstone, because, you know, there's people who are like, Don't pick up Brimstone! And then there's people who are like, Why didn't you pick up Brimstone? Like, don't let the commanders be the boss of you. Okay, I guess we missed that last play. Oh, well. Um... I think it's good to have a healthy mix of, of brimstone and non-brimstone. If Mom's knife was in that shop, or sorry, that deal with the devil, no brainer. Two keys for a golden chest, it's a pretty bad deal, but I did it nonetheless because I'm desperate, and uh, now we're gonna walk into this boss trap room and hope that it has something really good. And if it does, that would be great, and you know what, I can pick up this before I walk in as well. Uh, shh, you know what, I'm gonna get it. I'm not necessarily thrilled about picking up a speed upgrade when I was really hoping for, like, HP damage or bust. Uh, but this is fine. Let's throw a little bit more of this in there. Uh, one more. <sighs> Even with Blue Candle, our damage is not that good. But with the Mark, our tears pick up a little bit of the slack. It's actually kind of the opposite, like, even with the mark, our tears don't do that much damage, but Blue Candle picks up the majority of the slack. That's the way I should have phrased it, but, um, so be it. We cross this bridge. And you're dead, and HP, 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 money. Could gamble that away. Let's save some in case there's a judgment later, shall we? For now, though. Uh, mom fight. Easy. It was weird, I spawned, like, inside of mom there. 
Um, so mostly this is just like blue candle on the edges type, uh, you know, standard work here. They've got to patch that shit out. It makes blue candle even more powerful than it already is, and it's already like really powerful. Uh, another blue candle to the gut is gonna put her very close to death, and that should do it. Good. So we did snag an HP upgrade at the end here, and the Polaroid. No compass, so Blue Candle, Meat Boy, and the Mark are really going to be carrying us through the remainder of the, the game here. Sure, yeah. We'll lose two... No. Um, so that was a poor decision. I don't know what I was expecting would show up in that curse room, but to be worth two spirit hearts at this juncture uh, would require it to be pretty fucking great. So we're in, a, we're in a tight spot. Two more hits will kill me. One more hit will put me in non-Polaroid Invincibility Town, which is not a the town where I want to be. I'd rather be in, like, basically anywhere else. Permanent Polaroid Invincibility Villa. Um, the, uh, you know, planned community of having a whole lot of fun would be a nice place for me to go as well. Uh, oh, well, that's bad. One more hit will kill us. At least we put up kind of a respectable run here, although not beating Mom, sorry, not beating Mom's heart is, uh, the bare minimum of respectable. Oh, you should be dead. Please give me some red hearts. Hey, it's a pill. It's full health. It's range up. Okay. Um, High Priestess, I don't want to use unless it's absolutely necessary. Shouldn't be necessary here. If those were turrets, like, uh, not turrets, but, you know, like the laser shooting things, I would probably be dead. Time to put that theory to the test. Okay. All right. Now, maybe a, a heart or something would be a huge boost. All right. Don't back yourself into a corner. Also, don't look back in anger. One more. There we go. Hey, thanks for the health. Mysterious ghost of not giving me health. All right, same business as usual. Don't back yourself into a corner. And you know what? I've actually been very blessed to not have been killed yet. And, uh, you know, extremely blessed to have picked up all these invisible hearts. Oh, yeah, this is great. Talk about invisible hearts. These, these things are hearts, but don't have any heart. What up with that? Now, eh, good, and a little bit more than one of these uh, bad boys here. Polaroid, good, that's that's good. I would rather have the a second Polaroid that I can't use than a, an actual heart. What? Sarcasm? Never heard of it. Um, this is okay, though. Do this. Heart, full health. Judgment. I, I, I want to use this judgment so badly. So fucking badly. But my Isaac sense will not let me use this judgment card outside of a deal with the devil. It's probably going to be demon judgment anyway, so I'm just a piece of shit. But I can't use this judgment card unless I'm on a deal with the devil. My conscience won't let me. All right, shit lord. Uh, we'll kill you with uh, this. Oh, yeah, of course. I didn't need any health. I don't need any health to beat this game. We're going to beat this game. This is the Isaac no health after utero run. If this has health, I'm not picking it up. Yeah. Good. Man of my principles, what can I say? Okay, so try Acnid. Um, it should be okay. <laughs> Perfect timing. Well, as always, I hope you did enjoy this run. Uh, it was a mixed bag, but it was fun regardless. In any case, make sure to show your support if you enjoyed the video by clicking the like button and, of course, subscribing if you want to see more Isaac. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.